ever since I moved to LA, I've had so many people approach me about joining this creepy, pervasive movement. It requires you to spend lots of money, dedicate hours of your time, and put yourself through immense physical torture. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called exercise. <laughs> yeah, I know that was kind of subtle, but maybe you picked up on the fact that I hate working out. I hate working out so much, I legit pulled a hamstring just walking out here. <laughs> Seriously, I can't even do a jumping jack. It's sad. If someone asked me to do five jumping jacks right now, I'd rather jump off a cliff. <laughs> Actually, jumping sounds exhausting. I'd rather roll off a cliff. <laughs> you know, rolling is a lot of core work. I'd rather just be pushed off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not against hard work. I mean, y'all know me. Whether it's reading a script, editing a video, I will stay up all night to get the job done. Any job. You know, bounce, truck on, wow, wow, wow. But it takes so much work just to get to the gym that it already feels like a workout. Like the other day, I spent half an hour trying to wiggle into a pair of Lululemons, and my Fitbit told me I burned 1,000 calories. You know what I'm talking about, the whole like, oh. When you reach here, like, this is not gonna happen. And of course, people in LA have made exercise a luxury item. Because why be even a little bit relatable? Hmm? <laughs> like, have you all heard of Soul Cycle? Who knows Soul Cycle? Okay, if you haven't, let me explain it to you. It's basically a hot, dark room <laughs> with someone on a headset yelling, You're living your best life! <laughs> well, people ride bicycles to nowhere. <laughs> And there are a ton of places like this, and they all have the dumbest names, like Orange Theory, which I assume is something about the science of juice. I don't... Pure Bar, which sounds like an acne soap. And Flow Master, which I just made up, but it sounds like a new product for your period, so I like, I like it. And they all offer a million different classes, like Zumba and yoga and goat yoga which was probably invented by someone who went to a yoga class and said, OK, how do I make this smell worse? <laughs> now, there's one gym that all the famouses go to called Equinox. Yeah. I know that sounds like a horse's name, but it's, <laughs> but it's actually just a room full of treadmills where models go to distract themselves from how hungry they are. <laughs> yeah. And to top it all off, this place costs $300 a month. Yes, these people pay $300 a month, so I have to assume that they also live there. <laughs> it's not like I never move my body. Now, even though I don't like working out, I do live in a three-story house. And honestly, sometimes I don't make it all the way up to my room at night. <laughs> I just straight up fall asleep on the stairs and then slowly slide down them like a slinky, just... <laughs> I'm getting older, and people keep telling me how important it is to work out. So I did recently put some dumbbells next to my bed, and I've actually gotten a pretty great workout by stepping over them on my way to pass out. I'm just like, oh! Oh, I just cracked something. <laughs> Apparently, we're not just supposed to be working out. We're supposed to be eating clean. Yeah. Have you heard that saying, abs aren't built in the gym, they're built in the kitchen? Yeah. Well, my kitchen must be broken. <laughs> because it only builds love handles. <laughs> she thinks she likes it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One of my editors is so obsessed with working out that he never stops. Yeah, he sits in a giant exercise ball at his desk so that he can get a workout in while he's working. <laughs> but how am I supposed to take him seriously when he's bobbing up and down <laughs> like boobs in a bouncy castle? <laughs> Y'all, check this out. For that joke, <laughs> my writers Googled things that bounce, and the only results were pictures of boobs. <laughs> Apparently, nothing else bounces. Like, there's so many things that bounce. Basketballs, volleyballs, tennis balls. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just boobs and balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be real, I think my problem with working out is fear-based, because it sends me into fight or flight, which, unfortunately, are both forms of exercise. <laughs> which is why I would never hire a personal trainer. See, at least when I put my blood, sweat, and tears into my work, I get paid. But a trainer makes you throw up on the gym floor, and I'm supposed to pay them? <laughs> Plus, why would I pay someone to yell at me when I can get internet trolls to do that for free? <laughs> Check it out. I can't get
can't keep going. You're almost there. Don't you quit on me. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right. No. Lily Singh is the least funny person on TV. Good morning to everyone. Aww. Except those people who think Lily Singh is funny. Okay, let's crank it up. Let's go. Woo! Faster. <laughs> You're Y-O-U-R, a man-hating racist. How did this girl get a show? Watch my sister's dog lick its ass. It's more entertaining. <laughs> God, Lily Singh is cringe AF. Why does she keep talking about being a woman? Because I am a woman. Shut up and train. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Lily, give me five more. I can't. No one watches a crap show. I can't wait for the memes when it gets canceled. Lily Singh is a straight trash can. If anything, I'd be a bi trash can. Give me some bicycles. Work those abs. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, Lily, great session. Thanks. I feel like we got a really great workout in today. I mean, you always find the meanest comments. It's fun because I also get to watch your videos. They're great. Aw, thanks, buddy. Keep watching. You know, I will. Just stop talking about sexual orientation, though, because it makes me feel weird. We didn't even write that sketch. We just copy and pasted real stuff from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks for the support.